The effects of the storm are being felt all around the state in some very dangerous ways. Nine people are safe tonight after they were rescued from the Crooked River in Naples. That's where we find New Center Maine's Jack Mulmud. Hey, Jack, what are you seeing there tonight? Hey, Samantha, well, the flash flood warnings here in Naples came about as quickly as the water rushed in, damaging homes and cars. And we ended up having to see nine people be rescued today here on the Crooked River and a community that's eager to rebuild. A flash flood warning for hundreds of people living on or near the Crooked River in Naples and Casco. Nothing you can do. It's Mother Nature. As cars and trailers were submerged, there's not much people like Tim can do besides wait. How many inches away is it from your basement? Uh, three inches. Parts of the river rising 15 feet above their normal level. For Tim... Uh, it's ours, but yeah, it's junk now. He knows it's not only his house in the line of fire. I've got a good friend that's down the end, Terry. His house is on a peninsula right now. So we make the journey to Terry's, where Chief Photo Journalist Aaron Twombly hitches a ride. It was raining pretty hard on Sunday night, and I knew it was going to be 48 to 72 hours before the river rose. And uh, here we are. Terry Gould just moved to his new home three days ago as the floodwaters isolated him from the outside world. But this flooding in Naples and Casco is having a real effect. Five people had to be rescued Wednesday morning. A family of three, including a baby, along with two older neighbors. Naples Fire telling us everyone was accounted for. That's when the Cumberland County Sheriff came down here and asked us, um, checked in on us and made sure we were okay. Everyone, despite near record flooding, is okay. And and in this tight-knit neighborhood, nestled between two rivers. So we're just a bunch of rednecks. Yeah. There's now only one way to get there from here. And it's life on the river. Life on the river. That's what you do. It gives and it takes. And you just got to have thick skin to live on a river like this. In the back of a kind neighbor's pickup truck. That's it. Life on the river. And there are some positive notes here to end the day in Naples. Since we've been here since the afternoon, the water has gone down by about six inches after cresting by about 15 feet earlier this afternoon. And an even more positive note for the people living here, the power is turned back on. We're live in Naples. Jack Mulma, New Center, Maine. Jack Mulma, thank you so much.